Hello, so today I'll just be talking about the Great Depression that happened in, you know, October 1929 uh, that had to do with the crash of the, you know, stock market. So, well, the decade known as the, you know, Roaring Twenties was a period of exuberant and um, substantial political, economic and social growth and change in the United States and abroad. But the era came to a dramatic and abrupt end in October 1929 when the stock you know, market crashed, paving the way into America's Great Depression of the 1930s. So, well, um, the crash, you know, began, it began on um, October 24th, 1929, known as Black Thursday, when the market opened 11% lower than the previous day's close. And um, institutions and financiers, you know, stepped in with beads above the market price to stem the panic and the losses on that day were modest with stocks bouncing back next two days. So actually, when it crashed, uh, you know, some of the, you know, stocks picked up after two days and however, the bounce turned out to be illusory as the following Monday, um, now known as the dreaded Black Monday, the market closed down 13% with the losses, you know, exacerbated by margin calls. So the next day, Black Tuesday, uh, beats completely vanished and the market fell another 12% from there. The market trended lower until hitting bottom in 1932. So, well, experts conclude that a crash occurred because the market was, you know, overvalued and um, excessively bullish, you know rising even as economic conditions were not supporting the advance. So before the crash, which ruined both corporate and individual wealth, the stock market peaked at, you know, on September 3rd, 1929 with the DNJ industrial average at 381.17. You know, the ultimate bottom was reached on July 8th, where the D, you know, stood at 41.22 from peak to, you know, through. Um, this was a staggering loss of 89.2%. So that's a loss, like a big one. So you can get see the chart from here, which is actually quite normal from here, you know, quite going up and it was actually quite, you know, going up and until it crashed and it started going down, it picked up at this point and um, still, you know, started going down again and down um, to the bottom. You know, you can see from here until I started picking up again. So, uh, we also were told that um, before the crash, a period of, um, you know, phenomenal growth. In the first half of the 1920s, companies experienced a great deal of, you know, success in exporting to Europe, which was, uh, you know, rebuilding from the war. Unemployment was low and um, automobiles, uh, you know, were spreading across the country creating jobs and you know efficiencies for the economy until the peak of 1929 when you know stock prices went up by nearly 10 times so people were actually you know making money and, and, and the economy was good so the economic you know growth created an environment in which um speculating in stocks became almost a hobby uh you know with the general population wanting a piece of the market so um People actually suggest and people were thinking that, um, you know, overpopulation and um, oversupply markets had, you know, a role to play in the crash. Uh, and um, people were not buying stocks on fundamentals. They were buying in anticipation of rising shares, you know, share prices just to, you know, make um, some gain. So, um, well, you can get to see that um, the aftermath of the crash, the stock market, you know, crash and the ensuring Great Depression of, you know, 1929 to 1939 had a direct impact on nearly every segment of society and altered an, you know, entire generation's uh, perspective and relationship to the financial market. In a sense, the time frame after the market crash was a total reversal of the attitude of, you know, Roaring Twenties, which had been a time of great optimism, um, high consumer spending and economic growth. So, well, this whole thing had to do with like a case and uh, multiple, you know, sources have different um, things to say as to the cause of this, uh, you know, Great Depression that, um, you know, happened, uh, you know, in 19 
you know, 29. But according to another source, uh, we were also told that um, there is a famous story. Uh, we don't know if it's true about how in the late summer of 1929, shoe shine boy gave Joe Kennedy stock tips and Kennedy, you know, being a wise old investor, thought if shoe shine boys are giving stocks tips, you know, then it's time to get out of the market. So the story says Joe Kennedy sold all his stocks and made a killing and maybe that's the beginning of the fortune that made JFK president, you know, three decades later. So they are speculations, but, um, you know, according to this article again, you can get to see what do people tend to get wrong about a 1929 stock market crash. Uh, the great math is that the stock market crashed, um, you know, caused the Great Depression. So this is part of every school kids learning in social studies, but it's all speculation, like I said. But if you get to see um, what actually happened on Black Thursday, you get to see that I say, the said um, Black Thursday was interesting because the market crashed during the day, but by the end of the day, it came back because of an intervention by the bankers to protect their wealthy clients, as well as, you know, to try to counter the panic. The buying was done by Richard Whitney, who represented a pool of money from people like the House of Morgan. So they are all speculations, but um, people also, you know, think that it was just um, based on you know the panic from here and there people were saying okay it's going on too much and um, it just crashed so sometimes it happens in the stock market everything becomes you know really up and um, down it goes so um, according to another source if you get to see um, based on what caused the crash in 1929 if you get a C from one other source you can get to see that um, they said that um, well the panic began on a black Monday October 28 with the market closing down at 12.8 percent on black Tuesday October 29 more than 16 million shares were traded the Dow lost another 12 percent and closed at 198 a drop of 183 points in less than two months so it has been you know going back and forth and um, this whole thing has been going on until it became you know really 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 down so and um, here you can get to see that uh, the said prices began to decline in september and early october but um speculation um but I said um, speculation continued you know for in many cases by individuals who had borrowed money to buy shares a practice that could be sustained only as long as stocks, you know, stock prices continued, you know, rising. So on October 18, the market went into a free fall, and uh, the wild, you know, rush to buy stocks gave way to an equally wild rush to sell. So the fact that a lot of people decided to buy and sell at that time just to make profit really was a factor as well with what we can see here. And um, if you come with me here you can get to see um, that there's a little explanation here as well that um, the prime security trembled like the issues of bogus gold mines um, General Electric fell from 396 on September 3rd to 210 on October 29 so it actually crashed everything everything really did crash on that day and um i also think i also suspect it's just um due to the you know bogus change in the in the you know the buying and selling because people wanted to just buy just to sell at a you know higher price just to make profit which also added to just you know this crash and it really affected a lot of people because after that time um, it reduced um, the importation and it reduced the trade between America and Europe and um, you know it was really really tragic one but um, it's okay that um, you know the American market is quite big I mean the biggest the largest in the world and um, it was able to regain its stand and um, it is really really better now so you can um, read more about it but um, everything is fine now and um, it's okay sometimes the market can decide to go up and um, you know uh, fall again so it's part of the stock market